Hey, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to show you two brand new functions that are available in Microsoft Excel. I'm also going to show you three different ways to group data. So the example we have came up in training yesterday. Someone wants to sort by last name for their reps, but they also want to sort within groups. So 0 to 200,000 is group 1 and then 200 to 400,000 is group 2. Three ways to do this. I'm going to put a little lookup table over here. So 0, 200,000, and I'm going to pull down to a million. So I'm going to end up grouping by column F. I'm going to make that group 1, group 2, in case you're wondering how I decided where to stop right there. I simply did the max function, highlighted my data. There you go. I don't need to really go past there for this example. Now, there are three ways to do it. One of them is going to be a brand new Excel function, but I'm going to go with the VLOOKUP first. So I'm going to create a table. So control A, everything looks good. Control period. All my data is together. Control T, let's make a table. Hit OK. Let's call this group. And we're going to do a VLOOKUP. That's the lookup table that I just put over here to the right. So I'm trying to look up F2, comma, table array is what I just created comma, and then inside that table array, what column am I looking for? Well, it's only got two columns, and it's the second column. So the number two, comma, and this has got to be true because I'm looking for a range between that 150,000 falls between the zero to 200,000. So this has to be true, not false. So I should get group one. And I do. In case you're wondering, I knew I was going to get those error messages. I need to make my table array absolute reference. So I selected up in the formula bar and I pressed F4 function key and the same thing. So now we're good. Let's test this. I'm going to make that 203 and it went to group 2. Undo, put it back. So that's method one. So what they ended up wanting to do is this, by the way. So now that we have that group, data, sort, they wanted to sort by group, but then they wanted to sort by last name. So let's see if this works. And it does work. Everyone in group one is correct. It is sorted by last name, group one. Group two is sorted by last name. Another way to do this, and this is the new function that's in Excel, it's in Excel 2016. It's an if statement, but it's IFS. And so what am I looking for? I'm trying to figure out that number right there. Is it less than or equal to 200,000, and if it is, put it in group 1, comma, less than or equal to 400,000, group 2, comma, and you see where I'm headed to, 600,000. I'm going to fast forward now, just for a second. Okay. Both methods work. Uh, you have to decide which one you want. If you do what I did in column G, you got to have a lookup table over here. If you did the ifs statement in column H, you don't need that, but it seems to be a little more work. The other way to do it, method three. Before I do method three, an interesting question came up. Obviously, column A is text because that needs to be text. Somebody didn't want to see the green triangles ever. So that is File, Options. It's under Formulas. Take that check mark out. Click OK. 
No more green tri triangles. You cannot undo to put that back. I prefer to see them myself, so it's just a matter of preference. So there I go again. They're running again. Method three, let's go make a pivot table. And this is going to throw a few people off. I'm going to actually check the numeric numbers. And then I'm also going to go check last name and first name, because that's what I wanted to see. And if you notice, it, because I checked the numeric numbers, it put them over here in value. I actually need to move them over here and make sure they're in the row. So I've got the numbers, then last name, and then first name. I'll be honest with you, that actually looks pretty bad. It's okay though, here we go. I'm going to go click on Design tab. First thing I'm going to do is remove the subtotals. Second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to Tabular Form. Then I'm also going to remove subtotals here. And then I'm going to click this value, Analyze, Group, the number 1, One million, two hundred thousand, because that's what the groups are by. And watch what happens when I click OK. Looking good. In case you're wondering why this is bold, you can't turn it off here. It's because of the style. So let's go to Design, Pivot Table Styles. Let's go this very top one. And this is just me. So everything's actually perfect right here in the pivot table. Notice that we have two people named Adams, a uh, couple Bartons. Click last name, analyze, field settings, layout and print, repeat item labels, click OK. There you go. So that was the third method. So method one, or sorry, method three. That was the first method using a VLOOKUP, and that was method two using the new IF statements. And the other cool function that is now available in Excel 2016 is equals formula text. I want to know what formula I used right here. Let me pull that in. There is my formulas right there. So you no longer have to put a space bar and then copy and paste the formula. You can use formula text. Let me use it one more time. I'm going to come down below. I'm going to find the median from F2 to F36 equals formula text. There you go. I hope that helps. Thank you for your time. Everyone have a good week.